ามชายหาผมชอบผู้หญิงนุ่มผ้าขาโอ้โหมีอับอายชายตาเซ็กส์ผมชอบมอง Hey guys so I'm back in the Ponytail Journal Studio Kitchen in Bangkok and today I've got a beautiful piece of Australian grass-fed ribeye steak and I'm going to show you how to make it into a very easy Thai style, Northeast Thai style um, beef salad in three very simple steps. A. Sear the beef. B. Rest the beef. And C. Toss it into a salad. What more could you want? I prefer to buy a free range um, meat that is a happy animal and has been grazing on good quality food because at the end of the day you're cooking that and it's going into your body. So make sure you rest the meat so it becomes room temperature before you cook because we don't want the muscles to contract too much from being too cold and hitting a hot pan. So let's go over to fry. Now when you're cooking steak, it's absolutely essential that your pan is smoking hot. And in the case of a barbecue, you want to make sure your coals are not on fire anymore. They're embers, but they're still very hot. So I'm heating up my pan. We've got the steak waiting, ready to go. And a resting board to rest the meat on once it's cooked. I'm also going to use a bit of butter as my grease on the pan. I like the flavours that come off butter. I use grass-fed butter and to me colour is flavour. Now usually my method for cooking steak is that of Heston Blumenthal. I flip the steak every 30 seconds and that gives a really good crust on the outside. So our steak is beautifully crusted on the outside and we're going to leave it to rest until it's cool and the juices have settled. Meanwhile, let's prepare the vegetables for the salad. So we bring our beef over. So now we're going to prepare the salad part. Now this is my version, it's not the OG authentic way, but I have a few twists on this dish that I find really delicious. A, I've got watermelon in mine. So summery and really refreshing and complements the sweetness complements the steak really nicely. I don't put that much in. Um, we eat it with cabbage at the end. But first I'm going to pick some good mint leaves. One good steak like that would make a big enough salad for about three, three people I would say. A good bunch of coriander. Some people don't like it. Um, you can leave it out and put more mint leaves in. We're also going to put in spring onions. Um, so you can substitute a bit more spring onion if you like. Now with these guys, if you see any um, dead outer leaves, just peel them off like this. That's how you prepare a spring onion or some people call them shallots. Off with their heads, throw it in. And now we're probably ready to slice our beef. Make sure you have a sharp knife. We want nice thin slices of this beautiful beef. So away we go. Oh, that's perfectly cooked. The inside is just blushing pink. The outside is nice and crusty and that's when you know it's been cooked properly. So slice the whole thing and in it goes. In that goes to our tossing bowl. One juicy lime should be plenty. Maybe don't use the whole thing yet because we're going to taste. And then it's up to your choice how much chilli you want to put in but I've got some dry chilli flakes. For this specific dish, we usually use dry. I like putting some pepper in as well, quarter of an eighth 
shake in a teaspoon. And then let's start with a tablespoon of fish sauce. Toss it and taste. Beef is so tender. Add the mint leaves. Now this part is totally optional, of course. Chunks, yay big, that's what, a, a centimetre square. And I'm going to toss that in with all the rest. This here is pounded um, roasted rice powder. It adds a great texture. You might have seen me use it in my lab recipe. Um, but if you can't find it in a supermarket, not to worry, just get some glutinous rice toasted in a pan and into the spice grinder and you have this. Not so bad. And finally, we we'll just want to add a tiny sprinkling, probably half a teaspoon of the pounded rice. Toss it up and when we serve, we're going to top with some more of the pounded rice and you're ready to eat. So to serve, let's put our salad in a nice big dish. Sprinkle on some more rice, toasted rice. So you get that lovely crunch. And then a couple more fresh mint leaves on top. So do try this recipe out. It's really quick, easy, simple, and it's quite a healthy meal. For the full recipe, go to ponytailjournal.com where you can shop my looks and follow my funnest life possible. You'll see lots of goodness on the site. And for Instagrammers, Twitterers, and Facebookers, even if you're on Snapchat, you can follow me at Ponytail Journal. Please subscribe to this channel. I'll have much more goodness to come. And until next time, I bid you happy eating. ไปเดินดูคนลุงพาคาไปเดินดูคนลุงพาคา